Usually in a Zoom meeting, we share our screen when we want to show slides or graphics or videos. We, I want to show you an alternative to that. First, we're going to look at this piece of brilliant free open source software called Open Broadcast Studio. OBS Studio, Open Broadcaster Software Studio. It is brilliant. I'm just going to open it up here. I'm going to delete, I've got a bunch of scenes here. I'm actually going to delete most of them and show you how I set this up. I'm going to delete all these as well. Okay. So, OBS, you can combine any source, web camera, um, PowerPoint, um, Windows, window, you know, application window, whatever you want, images, direct video, direct images, etc. It's really, really powerful. Um, now, I've got nothing here now. So, first thing I'm going to do is I've got my main source here. I can zoom in a little bit. Can I zoom in? Uh, there we go. So down the left here are my sources. Now I've already got a source called main camera, and that, that's what I'll, I'll have as my main sort of webcam. Um, so um, let me just uh, change this thing on. That's better. All right. So I'm just going to add. I've got no sources, so I'll add a source. Now we've got a few options of. Um, video capture device. So video capture device would be like a web camera um, or something if you've got a webcam plugged in. And I'm going to just call this main webcam. Okay. Now I can choose what device I want to pick. Now I've got a few different web cameras. Um, I can pick my just my inbuilt camera in my laptop. Now you see I've got a bit of a green screen. It's not the, the, the fanciest green screen, but, um, or I'm actually going to pick XSplit V Cam. Now, this is the second really cool bit of software that um, I wanted to show you. So, let's bring that up here. Okay, this is XSplit, XSplit V Cam. Let's show you the website. It um, removes the background for you, and you don't need a green screen for this to work. Look, it says here, no need for a green screen. All you really need to make this work well is a solid background, a solid color background. That's sort of a bit different to what you're wearing. So if you're up against a white wall, it should be perfectly fine. Or a light colored wall should be fine in most cases. And it does a really good job at cutting out the background. Because with a green screen, it does work really well as well. Um, so this is XSplit. Um, running here now, and I've, I've got connected to my Logitech Stream Cam, which is a cool, a pretty good um, web camera. Cost about two hundred dollars, um, and so that's our source for for the XSplit. Now it's going to do its work, and it's going to output a, a virtual camera that I can use in in other software. So now there's there's some options you can just you know blur your background um, if you want to just a blurred background. But the, the, the really good thing that XSplit does is it lets you give, get a transparent background. So I've hit remove background, it actually cuts me out um, and gives me that transparent background, which then is you can do some really cool things in OBS Studio with that. So that's what I'm going to do with XSplit, set that up with um, the background moved like that. Now I've got in, in OBS um, as my device that XSplit virtual camera. So I get now this transparent a video feed come through, which is, this is what I'll have as my main camera. So, so this is so in your sources here, um, you can add multi layers. So now I've got a transparent video, um, and I can add a background or whatever really I want. And OBS has some really, really awesome um, things we can add. So let's add a image. Oh, let's call this main background. Um, let's pick something. 
Um, got some nice stock photography here somewhere. All right. How about something very Australian? <laughs> okay, so I'm going to load this this picture in. See now I've got two layers, the web, main webcams underneath. So if I drag um, the background underneath, then it, it shows up behind this video layer. Now if I select that that background, I need to really size it down because it's really big. That's a bit annoying. You have to keep sizing it. Um, so you get it down to the size you want, and um, here we go. So I've got a great background. Now you can of course put anything in the background. You could do it, get a video, a video, and pop a video in as your background. That just loops. Um, and or you can do a slideshow. There's there's a whole bunch or solid color, or you can put another scene in. Like there's a, it's, it's really powerful what you can do. Um, you can basically build a bit of a set, a virtual set, um, very easily. A couple of other things that that um, I found really really cool. Um, with this is um, how we can create multiple scenes to make it make a really interesting and engaging sort of experience uh, for people. So um, I'm going to add uh, let's say some PowerPoint slides, PowerPoint slides as an as a scene here. Then I'm going to add some sources. Um, now now it's really 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 helpful if you have a dual monitor. So to make this really good. Um, work really well. You want to get a dual monitor, ideally. Now I've got a dual monitor. I've got a second screen plugged in here. So I'm gonna I'm gonna go um, display capture for my source, and I call this um, display capture monitor two, which is my second monitor. Um, now I can select the display. So so in this properties box, um, I, I'll pick display two. So that's now uh, my second display. Awesome. So if I was to start a PowerPoint um, slide now, um, this is going to show as my uh, as my source here now. So let's just cut to this. So so on the left hand side you got your preview, you got your program. This is sort of a standard sort of video switcher um, thing. Um, and so you, you can cut, you, you, you set your scene here, what you want to cut to. On the right hand side is what's going to be, what's outputting. And the left hand side is what you might want to transition to. So if I want to transition to the slide, I can cut across to the slide. I can transition back to me. Now the, 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 the awesome thing here is that from OBS, you, you set um, down here, you start virtual camera. Right? Start virtual camera. Now OBS is taking this program feed on the right hand side. And streaming that out as a, as another virtual camera, and that OBS virtual this OBS virtual camera that's going out is what you would select in your Zoom meeting or t or Teams meeting, whatever meeting you're in. Um, and that way, instead of sharing your screen in Zoom, you just use this OBS virtual camera and you do your screen sharing here in OBS. You can transition. All I have to do is transition across. Now, instead of seeing my video feed in my video feed on Zoom. Everyone's seeing the slides that I want to show, which is which is awesome. And then knowing this, we can mix it up for some even better effects. So let's say my PowerPoint slide, I want to add a small um, picture of me as well presenting. So to, to do this, I can't just add a new source uh, for. I can't just add a new source. I actually need to copy um, the existing source. You can't have you can't have duplicate video sources. That's the thing with OBS. So if I go to, to my main camera here, I know I've got um, this main, main webcam source that I created. So I'm going to copy that, just copy, and come over to a PowerPoint slide and paste a reference to that um, main webcam. So now you see I've got um, uh, the, the main webcam with me and the background um, of the slides, which is really, really awesome. So now what I need to do is select that this video feed and size it down, pop it wherever I want, and there we go. Really awesome. Um, and now this is you can you can be on top of your slides, lay it on top of your slides, stepping through your slides, um, really nicely.
All right. Um, so one other thing that you can do um, that I found kind of neat. So if I, I'll show you this slide. This slide um, just has a green box in it, right? But we can green screen this. We can green screen this. Um, I'll show you what I mean. If we start this slideshow, all right. So this is what I would would be getting right now. This slide with this green box. Now it's very easy. Just in PowerPoint, you just you know create a box and set the color to, to some sort of vivid green. Now um, I can key this out in OBS and layer another video behind it to get or another source behind it to get some even cooler um, other cooler effects. So how we'll do this is select. Um, my go to my PowerPoint slides, of course. Um, select the monitor two, which is where I'm reading this from, and I'm going to go down and hit this and right-click on the monitor two. Go to filters and add a filter here. I'm going to add a chroma key. Actually, no, no, no. I'm going to add a color key. They're sort of pretty similar, but color key in this case is is uh, very suitable. And just call this yeah. PowerPoint green screen. Now, to accurately key out this green, um, I'm going to, I mean, you could just, yeah, because it's green, I mean, we've got a key type of green here. Um, I can just adjust my similarity bar until I see all the greens gone. Something like that. And then I go, great, I I've just keyed that out. The other way, the way that I normally do it is, um, I actually want to read exactly what the color is of this of this green and change this to a custom color and select color and I want to select this exact same green here now however you do that is up to you how I've got I do it with a a um, usually with a take a screenshot of this and then extract the exact color out of it um, to be super accurate and I did this earlier today, and I know it's this this hex value here. Um, oh, maybe it's not. Yeah, you'd have to like take a screenshot of this and look in Photoshop. You can probably get the exact color out of it. Um, in any case, for now, I mean, just adjusting the similarity bar that works. Let's leave it that. Just for time for time's sake. So now we could add a another source behind this. Now in a presentation earlier today, I was in SketchUp and showing a 3D model. Now I'll just um, going to open this 3D model and where are we? I think this is the one. Okay. Yeah. Cool. So this is a 3D model of the biblical sanctuary. It's it's a really awesome model. Really well done. It's got it for free uh, online. Now, wouldn't it be really cool if we put if we kind of put this as a as an interactive object behind this key PowerPoint slide? So what what we'll do um, is I'm going to bring this over here and minimize it. Is go to add a new source. Now I'll go back to our PowerPoint slide here. Here we go. Now we add a new source in our PowerPoint slide, and this time do a window capture. And what I want to capture is SketchUp, which is a 3D program. And I'm going to come down here. I want to find my SketchUp application. I can't actually see it there. So I think what I might need to do is to have it open, take it under for minimize. I'll pop it over there for now. And let's try see if we can find it again now. Yep, there we go, SketchUp. Brilliant. So now I've got this as just the window, as... Um, as a source, 
So I want to, I'm going to maximize this. And then I'm going to just crop it a little bit because I don't want, I really, to make it a, you know, a cool experience, I don't want it, people to sort of see, I'm going to see the, the, the toolbars here in SketchUp. So I'm going to drag it, yeah, I'm going to right click, go to Transform, Edit, Transform, and add a bit of a crop. Add some top crop, add some crop at the bottom, and now I just get the neat 3D model, which is really what I want. Now if I drag that, and I can just minimize this now. Okay, now if I drag my SketchUp below uh, this bottom layer, I can now get it to come in here underneath my pop and slide. Isn't that cool? Super cool. And so I could play around with that SketchUp model. Um, I won't put it on my second screen. I really almost need a third screen here, to be honest. <laughs> um, but you can see we have a, a, a virtual model. It's um, Yeah, I need a third screen to make this work really, really well. <laughs> what, I'm, what we'll do, why don't we do this? We'll go that there. Um, there's OBS. Create a new scene, call this Sketch, SketchUp. Uh, oh, it's already used. Okay, SketchUp window. And add in, I'm going to copy paste the SketchUp from here. And just make it its own, its own thing in its own window. I might want to copy in the my webcam as well onto that. There we go. And so I might so I can leave that there. I mean, it doesn't matter, does it? Oops. And uh, yeah, there you go. So I mean, we've got our our PowerPoint slides, and I can just transition to the three D model. And then, where are we? Play around with this 3D model at will. And all this can be presented um, to your Zoom audience or whatever you're screen sharing to, all via the virtual camera. So, so really, um, the, the possibilities are limitless, what you can do with OBS, layering, whatever you want, video, audio, windows, displays, cameras. You can layer it however you want, build your scene, build your set. Build as many scenes as you want, transition between them for a really awesome view. Now I might want to duplicate this, let's say we duplicate this and we want to bring in the same source as the main camera here. No, oh, wrong one. Um, let's try that again. And I want to bring in the main webcam from here, that's the one. So you could cut between a large, a large view of self, or pre presenter view, or a small presenter view. Um, cut between that to that. We just looks like your background's changing. You got this this window, or just a static image background, um, or cut back to your PowerPoint slides. Um, Something's gone wrong a little bit off there. <laughs> yeah. So that's really cool. I think that's all to show, really. Um, yeah, I'd recommend um, vSplit, vSplit vCam and OBS as fantastic ways to show interactive content, um, to overlay um, presenter over your slides um, to show, you can show a web page, if you want to show a web page you can really, the, the sky's the limit with Creative So enjoy presenting. <laughs>